don't know what to say, man. It's been three freaking weeks, and we back on the grind. You know, I had to little, I had to little take a little break right now, but we back. I realize y'all need me, so let's get it. Wait, y'all actually thought we was watching that video? <coughs> no, we already found another video. It's called investigating the world's. I mean, the the oh my guy okay. investigating the internet's most famous scammer. And we all love that self snitching, you know. We claim that we we we, we above Charleston White, all right. Ain't nobody snitches like us. All right, let me let me stop, bro. Let me stop, bro. What's good, CSG? Welcome back to another video. I know I've been gone for like two weeks, three weeks. Yo, I just had a little take a little break. You know, I went out the country. You feel me? I ain't gonna tell where. I went out the country, but we 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 we, we finna brush that off. You feel me? We back though. You know, every 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 day daily videos. All right. Don't worry about that. You feel me? So, uh, let's, let's without further ado, man, let's, let's, let's hop straight into the video, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Today, we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only, yeah, so you don't cap, get scammed like people cap, like buddy. this. Yeah, you just see a whole bunch of, whole bunch of thugs wearing ski masks. Ski masks. <laughs> well, yeah. What would you say Imagine if you being a scammer room. in real life? Because I know I lost those. I can't lie. The process wasn't perfect. I can't. My tail. No SIM card. Oh, yeah, yeah, Esther, I gotta pay respect You're not to get my that money, buddy. You can put that up here. Everything's so free today. Yeah, today we that meet money, one buddy. of the most famous scammers on the internet, Punch Made Dev. He's made a name for himself as one of the biggest scam rappers on the internet with songs like How to Write a Dump and Punch Anthem. On his social media platforms, he flaunts an absurd amount of money and jewelry. Today, I ask him about the most Somebody common scams that? people are pulling right now it. so that we the people can better learn how to protect ourselves from scammers like him. The goal of this documentary is twofold. First, to be aware of how scammers operate and second, to encourage viewers hey, to be the hero snitching? and not the villain. Not only is scamming a loser way to make like 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 right after the i mean like right after this video are y'all are y'all like actually snitching on us on these niggas bro money but it also can carry a heavy penalty of up to 20 years in prison Yo. the reenactments you are about to see are for educational purposes only your discretion is advised i'm hitting banks dropping checks cooking clones and cracking cars our job today is to explore the most common scams that are out there see how we can protect you the viewer from it and also meet a guy that is a true internet phenomenon and character punch made that we're not taking any chances with this guy we don't know how good of a scammer he is but i'm putting my wallet with my credit cards almost in definitely the box <laughs> no chance not a chance you look like you're out of a movie scene dude a character from gta or something I'm a 99 <laughs> from gta rp bro Are those little internet gangsters oh my god bro what's your social security number I got yours. <laughs> How yeah. hard is it to scam somebody with uh, just their wallet? But there's actually this device. You can put it right up to your fucking like wallet. If you got that chip on it. That's what we researched and that's why we hit our yes, credit right. cards from you. You <laughs> say so you hit the credit cards? Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> Let's say I got it in my pocket like that or like just like this on some shit. And you can just, just walk up to me and be like, my bad, bro. Oh, and then I don't got it. I have everything. Yes, I'm Tommy G now after that. <laughs> so you can steal what? My credit card, my debit card. Anything with a chip. Now picture this. You have my credit card and debit card. You just ran my account empty. Do yeah. you feel bad? Nah. The bank's gonna give you the money back. You ever heard of like a TLO lookup? Like if I had your first and last name, your social will come up every day. I could probably find you real quick. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Ooh, you're 29, eh? It's your birthday? You got a criminal record. Yeah, I got a rest of Damn, what for? I did a prank channel. I, I had a fake ball sack that I was had hanging out of my pants. And an old couple thought I was really showing them my ball sack. So they arrested me for indecent exposure. They registered stuff. I remember that video, bro. I remember that from back in the day, bro. What the world? <laughs> no, I'm not a registered sex <laughs> offender. <laughs> How do you describe yourself uh, in the just, scamming world? I feel like 4K, the whole world's man? a scam, but he's looking at me as a bad guy. Oh. See, if I take money from 
money oh. from you, you're gonna get the money back. Nobody's gonna hurt. I mean, it would be fucked up if I sim swap you and then just start posting like some crazy shit on your Instagram. Is that possible? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. You think you're a bad guy? Nah, I feel like it's worse people. Robin Hood was well liked because he took from the rich and gave to the poor. Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day Robin Hood? Take from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and then the rich is me. What wallet like do you recommend like to people to protect them from scammers? <laughs> There's no wallet. Or if it was, I mean, it is true. Them. Okay, so how can someone avoid that wallet scam? Use Apple rich get richer. Ideas. So but just don't we... carry a wallet? Yeah, don't carry a wallet. That's the only way to avoid it. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? 38. $38,000. Just for the pendant. How can I tell this is real or fake? You're gonna get a diamond sister. Bro, is we that like a jewelry credit store? card, bro? Not sure how legal this all is, but YouTube, this is educational purposes, a documentary. Don't ban right, it. Right, right, right. Come on, Charles and White, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Let's team up together and let's take down these thugs, all right? We don't need these thugs on the internet. This. Don't strike all this. Right. Don't age restrict it. Let me show the people what they need to see to protect themselves. So is there like an exit strategy in the scammer world? Because I feel like you're your clock. Tell me why they're gonna listen to clock's ticking. I mean, eventually, right? I mean, even Al Capone got got you know. I'm the Al Capone. I'm punch made dev, undefeated. What's your oh guys' take on scamming? The, the government scamming. They doing bill, billion dollar scam. What's the little millions and shit we taking? What's that gonna hurt? All right, guys, let's hit the bank. What are you guys thinking? My bullshit detector's going off a little bit. That's fake bling. I feel like. It had like Bling. that tin can rattle to it. Should I never we call thought. Tracks NYC and see if he can tell like us if can yes. stuff is real or yeah. fake. <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm, I'm about to film someone doing sound. something sketchy at a bank, but I need, I'm trying to find out how I can tell if something's a fake diamond or not. We're with Punch Made Dev and he has allegedly quarter million dollars of bling on his neck and I want to call Tracks. And Jeez, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nowadays, bro, people would get like so sensitive after the fact you just call it their like, you know, thing, your their jewelry fake, you know? Like just, <laughs> Just imagine going up to somebody with a whole bunch of bling and then saying, hey, your, your bling is fake. See how we know if he's legit or not. Do you have any like photos of it you could just send me quick before? Yeah. Send me the photos and then I'll let you know. Cool, all right, sounds good. Who the Yo, who's the rapper with the wire? biggest chain? Better hit a wire. What does that mean? I feel like this man neck gonna fall off, bro. Log in and um, wire some money out. Tommy's trying to learn how to scale. <laughs> That's what Tommy's trying to no, do. No, the, the goal of this episode is to learn how to protect the people at home from this type of tomfoolery. That, 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 how much are you gonna clean this guy out? If they'll give me twenty, I'll do it. What's gonna happen? You're gonna walk in there. Yeah. You're gonna wire transfer money to yourself from someone else's account. How quick is all this gonna happen? You think? Ten minutes. Have you ever known someone that's been scammed? No, but I've almost been scammed myself. How, how did you almost get scammed? Well, I mean, people Have call you ever every been day. Scammed before? With Somebody called me yesterday and told me I had twenty-five hundred dollars worth of vacation points. And I've they, never signed up for anything. What should be the punishment for a scammer? It Probation? should definitely be a punishment. I don't know what the punishment should be. A you, jury should determine that. Fair enough. Has anyone attempted to scam you before? Yes. How do they do it? Uh, with my debit. And I feel like you're just not personally hurting the dude or the person. You know? It's just like borrowing money. You know? What happened to you when they tried to scam it's you? Like they're not uh, hurting I just found a charge on my like debit card that I didn't do. Ooh, this was in Arizona. <laughs> How much was it for? It wasn't a lot. It was only about $80. Did the bank refund you? Yeah, we did. What should be the punishment for scammers? I'm not sure. See, I got their balance right there, 430K. Jesus, this man's wearing black gloves. I'm gonna try to just do a quick 10 real quick. Oh, how nice of you, Dev. You're only taking 10 racks instead of 20. 10,000. 10 racks. All right, let's do it. Man had like 400,000. I would have taken all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just playing. Hello, good, how are you? Good, I'm I just want to make a withdrawal today, please. Yeah, no problem. Do you have to Oh my God, bro. Oh, yeah, I do. Perfect, whenever you're ready, you can have an insane report. Okay, okay. Tommy, right. nice to meet you. Know Why do you think scammers bugs. become so popular? It's been fast. I what know. do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years, your back broke, and now you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long do you guys want to be in the game for before you're... I, I want to be like probably 30, then you invest. Forever, nigga. Wait, how old are these niggas? <laughs> 30. <laughs> Probably like 22, bro. Three ten. Let me sniff it to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. Yo, have y'all seen ten racks before? Ten thousand dollars. You're looking at it right now. What's the most amount of money you ever walked out of a bank with? Seven thousand. Two dollars. How did that feel? Feel good. Feel amazing. I went about a chain with it. We're gonna head to a okay, gas station and show you the next scam to avoid. Ah. Uh. 
son of that man, that man, that him and him and him and him and hit you face. Hit you face. Hit you face. They're right, probably bro. real. <laughs> Might be more than a quarter million dollars. What? And um, on his Instagram, the one with all like the Mastercards, I think I saw like a different jeweler actually post Yo, that's so made ugly. like a while ago. So yeah. It's oh, never gonna master Sorry, Punch my Dev, we thought uh, you were bling, fake. Bling. You know who tracks NYC is? Yeah. I asked him if your shit was fake, guess what he said? He said it's real. Oh, he got me? <laughs> no, no, he said it's real, though. Yeah, I know, I'm saying he got my back, man, you know? Ain't no denying that. This is why I thought it was fake, was the clunking sound. Everything don't sound like that. don't sound like that, you need to be looking suspicious. I will admit that I was wrong, plus I know nothing about bling. So we're gonna- I mean, try to say that to Lil Durst Chang. It, it doesn't, it doesn't do that. <laughs> Right, into let me, let me skimmers stop, yeah. <laughs> and dumps. And what's a dump? Player, so say if I wanted to write up a dump, right? I would get Ooh. a track win, oh, uh, a 101 or a 201. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because it got a whole face. Like, this is the big boy win. The one right here. Bro, I've seen that before. I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me. So how much does this cost? Can't be. I seen a dude next to me, uh, like use that. You feel me? I handed him my credit card, and then he, he swiped through that. I, I was like, what? And then he was like using the computer. I'm like, hey. What you doing, man? And he said, hey, I'm trying to buy something for you. I was like, okay. So um, I just let him do it. Be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? Like <laughs> right. 500K? So if someone says they're a certified I dumper, actually, this is what I they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up, using them. Say like, I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through All the right, drive-thru. Just job. say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this, right swipe it on the, uh, from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this one empty, I'm about to write up a dump on it for y'all. Is the FBI looking See, guys, into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. And the way someone stops this is by hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. But it takes like five days. Seven. So as far as scamming goes, are you feel like your NBA level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scammer and Michael Jordan combined. Does you your know? mother know you're a scammer? Nah, I tell her I do crypto. <laughs> All right, so now I got the numbers plugged in. I'm about to run this through. So now I just wrote somebody else's info on here. How much money is on that card? This one got about like a $600 balance. Wherever y'all went, we're about to go get everything for free real quick. I can't, I can't, I can't trust the group of thugs, man. No risk. Are they gonna eat this cost or the bank eat this cost? The banks yeah, are gonna, they really don't. You're sure. For something small like this, that was a wire that would be like 10 to 14. So this is when you get a message on your phone. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, was this you and you yeah. say no and then they reimburse you? Give it back in like less than 24 hours. Tastes better, feels better when it's free. Who <laughs> does it? I'm gonna spend my own hard earned money. They can spend the, the other guy's money. Has anyone ever tried to scam you before? Yeah, of course. In what way? Well, how do they try and do it? Oh, I got almost scammed on a puppy thing online. You had to pay a down payment for a puppy and then there was no puppy? They were trying to with like fake pictures and then I just canceled it because I said this feels like a scam. What do you think should happen to a scammer if they get caught? I mean, there should be some sort of legal repercussion. What do you think? That's tough to say. What would you say if you met a scammer in real life? Probably punch him. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why we all look at you. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if I get scanned in the next 24 hours, I'll be calling you guys for help, okay? Yeah, we got you back. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, everything's free for everybody today. What? Really? Yeah. Thank you. Bro, I got a $600 awesome. dollar spending fee. You want anything? Everything's free today. Go get some. Go get your oh, get 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I love uh, that. Ma'am, you can put that up here. Everything's free today. I know. I said the same thing. <laughs> they call him what? Punch made dab. Oh, okay. Who is he? Punch made dab. How do you describe yourself? A great person. Uh, Very caring. Uh -huh. Also, nice. he would describe himself. But I ain't gonna lie, guys. Describe yourself. I'm not even gonna hate, bro. Black Paul. Who's wearing goggles in 2023, bro? Like just take them off, bro. It's we we it's just stop, stop, bro, stop, bro. That's a 2016 thing, bro. Or 2017, bro. Like come on, bro. We not back in that era, bro. Come on, bro. Listen, uh, let it go. Very caring. Also, he would You're describe himself as a rapper bro. and a scammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Internet's most famous scammer. Oh goodness. It's good for him. He's doing good doing it, I guess. That touched me. The duality. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. He said, good for him. He's doing good doing it, I guess. That touched Oh. That's what that's what that's what the duality of man, folks. The yin and yang of life, huh? Thugs. We just went into a and he came out with $10,000 cash. It works. Thank, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's funny how their tune changes as soon as the scammer is helping them. They don't care. Let me punch him. 
<laughs> Which I could see why. People are complicated, you know. People are very complicated. I heard the guy that car that is was working hard at McDonald's for ten hours for that money. Oh yeah, he's working very hard. <laughs> he's running his credit. I gotta lie, y'all. Check our cards. Check our cards. Check our cards. Check our cards right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have been wiped out of all your money. Not even one cent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is directly from his song. The clerk will let you swipe the car after you jam the tip. After it ain't working two times, she'll let you use the shirt. Yo, 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 yo. Snitching is crazy on the song, bro. I know it's I know it's been going on for a while, man, you know. That's crazy. Fine? Uh no, I ain't fine. I never okay. Bro said step by step. <laughs> Tell them death, yeah. Yeah. They'll probably have a nice day. And sometimes they try to make you use the chip, but that's why you just jam the chip and make it. Kid got one ice cream, bro. Hey, I would have had the whole story. <laughs> Make it purposely decline. Right so what well, you just said, you follow a step by step of your own instruction from yes. the song. How is an ordinary person stop that from happening to them? There's no way. Just if, if you, you use, use your, your debit card, card, shut the bank off right away. Yeah, but it's not even you losing it though. You'll just go like you'll go pay for it somewhere, or I have somebody at an inside like a McDonald's, and they'll swipe that through, and then card info is mine. So the next scam we're gonna go into is the skimmer. They'll put a skimmer on top of this. I mean, a skimmer on top of this. It's mainly the one in the store too, like the one that I just used. They'll have another like it's quick. Like somebody will pull up and just. Plop it on quick and you won't even I gotta lie bro, just shake the machine bro So would you shake know, machine, if you bro. walked up to a w one with a skimmer, would you know? Yeah, I would know So you can tell Yeah bro. Where's the next spot we're pulling up to? We can punch that pizza right. so Guys, what's going through your head right now? We've seen a few scams It was pretty much step by step like you described in the song Just make it decline twice and then swipe it He Yo, literally did his own playbook in front of us Yeah It's just crazy how easy it is It doesn't feel as bad when you're stealing from banks Like if I knew that he was causing people to get evicted or not be able to pay rent or not be able to afford their kids, I'd be really pissed and want to strangle him. But I don't, I'm not as angry that he's scamming a bank. Mm. I feel like everybody's got to foot the cost eventually. So, like, I feel like that's just getting passed bro. on to the, the consumer. It's kind of like the hood. So, what is new voice, bro? <laughs> he's kind of the hood, Mr. <laughs> Beast. I love that. The God hood, Mr. Damn, Beast. Boy. Punch made that. Oh my God. Everybody, ASMR listen voice. up. This is a punch lesson. <laughs> go and get a fire card in sight. Go to the dump section. Never get a how many pizzas have you punched from this place? Domino's ain't really my first choice, but if you're gonna steal a pizza. I feel like this is like the the C level place to steal from. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to call them. I'm about to uh, order like six, seven pizzas, and then they're gonna ask for the car details over the phone. I'm gonna give it to them. You just give someone else's car. I feel like this is doing yeah. the, the, the DoorDash Pick glitch. Can I ask the name for the order? Kane, can I get a large cheese pizza? One Fried months or maybe pizza, some sausage uh, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One large pepperoni. One large sausage. One large sausage, so. This will be $54.09. Yes, yeah, so I could punch it. Yeah. Oh my God, bro, this light, bro. I've, I can never forget about this light. I'm getting a new light, bro. Oh, this makes me nauseous, bro. I'm gonna stop pausing. So you just hey, punch the pizza. Yeah. Punch a couple pieces for free. Wait, How can Domino's stand, protect bro? themselves from people like you? Wait, they can't. Is they just gotta hope people like me don't want to eat there. Should we do an ATM and then pick up the pizzas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hit the ATM. All right, we're hitting the ATM. Okay, bro. I'm about to show you how to use a clone card real quick. Everybody act normal. Oh, money, man. Voila. It's like magic. All right, so what the hell just happened? He was pieced up a chip, one, took it into the ATM, and cleared that. I had my runner go in there, cleared that whole out. When we pull up in a ski mask to a bank, do you think that sets off any alarms? Yeah, but. It's too late by the time we leave. Did you notice the two Lexington police officers yeah, in a nearby yeah. parking lot? On the street, yeah, I've seen them, yeah. They be there all the time. You just gotta know your area. The oh, theme I'm getting with all these scams is the only way to stop it is just it's don't magical. let your stuff get stolen. Yeah. If you lose a card, tell the bank to lock it and the bank will reimburse you if someone like you strikes. Yeah, the only thing is if like somebody was to wire out more than a quarter million out of your bank account, the government, they only uh, protect up to 250,000. FDIC insured yeah. up to 250K. Yeah. If it's no more than 250K, you're good. People that are watching this would say, Punch May Dev is a piece of shit. What do you say to them? I say, you, I probably scammed you or I will soon. What are the consequences <laughs> for scamming? Like, what, what are the penalties someone can face for this? It could be a whole bunch of factors. A wire fraud is already one. I mean, you could do up to like 20 plus years. Wire fraud years. is a federal case, right? Yeah. So how are you not scared to let us into your world today? I know what I'm doing.
Jesus Christ. And your crew have a normal job. Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> None of you guys do nine to fives? Yeah, no. Nah. Why would they? It's free money. I mean, you gotta have a way to cover it up, you know? Some of us do videos, some of us rap, some of us sell clothes. Is this your dream job? This is my dream job. How long do you plan on being in this game? Forever. Probably You're going to be a grandpa scamming people? Yeah, I'm going to be 70 years old, still walking in and out of the bank. When you Did I just... Yo, 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 am I predicting everything, bro? Your kids get old enough to see <laughs> what you've 70. done on the internet. I what do you think you're going to tell your kids? I'm going to tell them life isn't supposed to be taken so seriously. So just enjoy it and have fun. If you wanted to buy a home or a rental property with this money, you think you could do that? I have a home. I have a home. Yeah, I got a, a big ass crib, movie theater, everything in there. I got marble floors, five bedrooms upstairs. I got two bedrooms downstairs, a gym, movie theater upstairs, Jesus. a pool in the backyard. Right. You can see my closet right here a little bit. Is that the closet you recently came out of? Hashtag Pride Mon. Our pizza's probably ready. It's time to get our pizzas. Sorry, Domino's. <laughs> Have you ever encountered people scamming their way into pizzas? Yes. How do they do that? They lie. They lie about everything. How can Domino's protect itself against scammers? We put their number in the system and block them. Yeah. It's a good thing I got multiple numbers. That's how you punch a pizza. Free eats. Sorry, Domino's. It's this guy. Yo, she was ready for the what niggas to get out of there. What you guys actually pay for? Maybe five percent. <laughs> if you guys did this to a mom and pop shop, would you feel bad? Nah. Hell no. How old are you, Dad? Below 25. How old were you when you first started doing stuff like this? Like 15. What was the first scam you ever pulled? It was like e-whoring. I would get like a pictures of like uh, a girl I knew or somebody on the internet that looked like a regular girl though. You don't want to get like fucking Ruby Rose or oh, something e like that. e-whoring. Yeah, e-whoring. Post it all on Tinder, all them dating apps. And I'd be like, add me on Snap, but then I'll sell like a premium and shit like that. That shit was ass though. Like just texting like niggas all day. I ain't like doing that. That probably takes forever. Yo, that's mad weird. Yeah, it was slower too. So you impersonate a decently hot chick mm -hmm. pretending to send exclusive Snapchats mm -hmm. to thirsty guys out there. And I do meetups too. I'll be Yo, like, I ain't, gonna lie, for bro. I ain't gonna lie. Snapchats. <clears throat> this dude chain right here, you know the little, uh, <clears throat> the three letter, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's kind of unique, bro. <laughs> Just got the little code, the little three code, three digit code right there. To thirsty that's guys, kinda, that's kinda and cool, I do meetups too. I'll it's be like at the same time, for a meetup, and people will literally drive my like car three to four hours away. But he the... wants me to tell him what car he's in, so he knows like I'm actually there to feed him. So he pulled to the fucking uh, cul de sac. He was like, he was in a white Benz. So I was like, I see you okay. in the white Benz. He was like, can I just come in and then pay you after? I was like, nah, send the money up front. It's like late at night too. And then uh, he sent it, and I told him I didn't get it. I told him send it again. He sent it again. He was like, this is my last. I'm literally going negative, and I won't have any gas to get home. I swear to God. And then he sent that. You didn't feel bad at this point? No, I I rode up the window and I yelled, it's the fucking police. And nigga drove off. <laughs> yeah. He was down to his last <laughs> while driving a Benz. Yeah. So what do you think about some people's financial hard, priorities? Bro. Like I feel like some people is yeah. they live above their <laughs> it means. All, it all matter, One bro. of my pet peeves is littering. <laughs> what the hell is this? We got to feed birds. Yeah. The birds it's not eat. Yeah, I'm just feeding the animals. How much you think this ring costs? Come that on, was bro. sixteen. Like there's a sixteen trash can thousand somewhere dollars. Here from John. Wait, do y'all okay. eat the crust, bro? I feel like I I always eat the crust, bro. So we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're gonna show us the last scam I want of the this day. right now. The big wave right now is cash up. This one's going crazy. Do fifty five big. So fifty five thousand. Yo, god dang. Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Gotta pay for the size, man, but and I can cash that out. All right, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I do know. We just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting scammed, yeah, right? how to avoid getting scammed, educational purposes. I encourage everybody to make money in a legitimate fashion, in a way that you can look yourself in the mirror, be proud of what you're doing. So folks, we just looked into the, the life of the internet's most famous scammer, Punch Made Dev. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Peace. Thugs. The amount of self snitching going on in our generation is going to be studied for decades. Yeah, pretty much, man.